Another first here on James and Wine Guy channel. Here I am talking about this Cabernet Sauvignon from North Carolina. Stay tuned. I like to taste wines from all regions, all varieties, and from all stylizations from everywhere on the planet. And finally able to taste this bottle from North Carolina. So here's what we have before us. This is a very well-known estate, built more reserve, North Carolina Cabernet Sauvignon 2014 vintage, back label. And it talks about North Carolina Cabernet Sauvignon. And so obviously this is from Asheville, North Carolina. And Biltmore is the uh, Vanderbilt estate. This uh, probably the largest house on the entire planet. It is pretty uh, spectacular. I have never been there, but hopefully someday I will. 13% ABV. So as far as I know, this is 100% Cabernet Sauvignon. I looked online on their website to see if they give more technical details and I didn't see that. I was also looking for the Barrique. I was wanting to know what was the barrel program. So I don't know that necessarily. I don't want to even speculate. It's just too hard to do. So I've tasted wines from the East Coast, primarily from New York, Maryland, and Virginia. Finally able to taste this wine from North Carolina. So here's, uh, first of all, the point score. This is 91 points out of 100 points. So when I taste wines, uh, Cabernet, I don't like to use a region like Napa or Washington or France. I like to think of the region itself. And it really gets me to think about typicity. That is, what is a typical variety and what does it taste like? Now this is in that format of the herbaceous quality of this Bordeaux variety, the Cabernet Sauvignon, and it's coming through very, very nicely. And ultimately, when I think of Cabernet Sauvignon from other regions, I don't expect it, nor do I really want it to taste like the flagship wines from Napa. I want them to take on the characteristic of where they're coming from, North Carolina in this example. Waldo Blackberry, and I just want to point out, Waldo Blackberry for me really represents a beautiful spice characterization of this specific variety of Blackberry. Additional notes on this are boysenberry, black cherry, a bit of clary sage, thyme, and mineral. And next, the flavor characterization. So on this, I'm getting a characterization of red cherry, blackberry, sage, pepper, and a hint of espresso. This wine again is 91 points out of 100 points. So the price point on this wine is $25. I'll put more information on the producer down below. Subscribe to my channel right up here if you haven't done so already. I really appreciate that. Give a like, the like button's right down there. And questions and comments can be listed down below as well. But you can also list them on the social medias that I'm on that you may be on as well, such as Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as Instagram and WordPress. Thank you so much for watching today. Stay tuned for more. Sante.